Okay, the logic behind this is pretty simple. So we'll come down here and let's do function auto, no arguments. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say interval equals, now this interval is the uh, variable I set up at the very beginning of this uh, JavaScript file. I'm going to say set interval. I want you to call change image, and I'll put a one in there. So basically, when you automatically run the slideshow, you uh, are going forward in the slideshow. And I'm going to do this in 3,000 milliseconds. All right, so if I do that, then I want to change. Let's go back up here. Let's do, let's go back to 1,500 now. You don't want to actually go on to the next slide uh, until the first the image has already you know animated back in okay so then that's it um, but notice okay so let's just see what happens now let's go take a look all right so let's refresh so if you press play well oh there it goes okay so it's working but if I press play nothing's gonna happen it's gonna keep going it's not gonna stop because if you notice, look at the bottom, when I scroll over play, it still says auto. Okay, I don't know what it's doing right now. We'll fix that. But it still says auto. I want this to say stop. So let's go do that. And I'll have to figure out what was happening with all those flickering images. Okay, so let's go back. So before we actually set it on its uh, automatic run, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say document git element by ID. Now remember, I defined, I gave an ID to my, my uh, automatic play button. I gave it an ID of play stop. So now what I'm going to do is, once you click the play button, what I want to do is I want to change what it says there, and I want to change the link now to instead of the play button, I want to do the stop button. And I want it to say stop. So now when you click, where is that? Right here, when you right now what it says is play and it's calling the auto button or auto function. But once I click play, I want this to now say stop. I want it to run the stop function. So let's go run the uh, or let's go write the stop function. So we have function. Let's scroll this up. Okay. Function stop. In fact, it's actually going to be pretty much the same thing. The moment you press stop, what I want to do is I want to get the ID again of play stop. Because now that I've pressed stop, because that's the only way that you're in this function right now, is that you pressed stop. I want to change the uh, JavaScript now back to the play button. Okay, and then I want to clear the interval. Uh, what did I call it? What I'm going to do is it's basically stopping this, okay, ref uh, like a refresh, I guess, um, that interval right there. So, interval. Okay, so let's go take a look at it now. Refresh. So let's see, does the next button still work? Yeah, just making sure everything still works. Okay, back to Sam. There you go. Now if we press play, it now changes to stop. Uh, let's see if it, yep, so we moved on the chalkboard. Move on to the Venn diagram. Now back to Sam. Okay, now on the chalkboard. There we go. Now if I press stop, does it stop? It does not. Why? It'd probably help if I spelled clear interval correctly, not clean interval. So, I'm, uh, gold star if you caught that when I wrote that out, but clear interval. So now let's go back and check. Notice that, by the way, when I, when I click play, if you notice down at the bottom now, it changed to stop. So now that it's going through the uh, slideshow, if I click stop, you can now see it went back to play and it stopped the slideshow. So it's 
still work. Next, next, play. Does it work? Oh, I didn't click play. Oh, it's not, it's not actually letting me. Oh, huh. let's go take a look. Oh, that's one of my, just me being stupid here. Um, my original function, it's called auto, not play. So it's called auto. So back here, I should say auto. Now when I, when I actually press stop, it should stop. So let's take a look. So let's start it. Or no, it's it should stop. The stop bug, the stop function worked. Now that now that we stopped it, when we play it again, it should work. Okay. Okay, I think that's it. Um, the only other thing I can think of is if you wanted descriptions down here. Uh, there's a couple different ways I can think of of getting descriptions. Uh, prob I mean. I would guess, to me, the easiest way I can think of, because again, we're doing this to kind of minimize all the script you have to write. Now, this even looks quite long, but you know, I've seen I have one running on my website that I did not write that was like 600 and some lines long. Now, this one is only uh, 57, so 600. That you know, it's got to be uh, committed to write that one. And so I like I like simple. Okay, so you can see that all of this very short and sweet, um, but you know you can make it more complicated. So I guess the what I would probably do is I would put another div down here, and then I would pretty much have instead of images I'd have like p tags, and in each p tag would describe you know the the image, and then just have that transition at the same time as the slides. So that way when you move on to the next p tag, at the same time it's the next p tag describes the next image in your slideshow. Um, and I think that's it. So hopefully this helps. Now what this means is that I can go and write a completely new HTML page. So I've started a, a new HTML page called it new slideshow.html. Uh, basically just copy and paste it, but now I can change the images uh, without actually changing the JavaScript, which I would have had to do on the last one. So we'll do desktop JPEG. Let's do closet. These are just other images I have in my folder. Uh, and then let's let's go back to Sam because he's my dog and I love him. Okay, so let's take a look at now slideshow.html. Okay, so slideshow, no, nope, new slideshow. Okay, so new image. All right, so these are my other images. If I click next, go on the SAM, and then I can set it on auto. And notice that that doesn't, um, again, I didn't have to change any of the JavaScript for the other one. So I can then go back. So here's my the, the one we just worked on. So I can have that one going and uh, on the same, same time have this one going. So no JavaScript had to change. You can create as many HTML pages using this script. Okay, so hopefully you learned something, and if you have any comments, please let me know. Uh, again, try to make it uh, as easy as easy as I can. Um, but again, definitely can Google slideshows, jQuery slideshows, and find very complicated yet beautiful slideshows. But again, complicated uh, and very, you know, kind of hard to customize it when it's when they're so long. And uh, I, I just like these. So, anyways, see you later.